Krishna is a testimony to the power of astrology. Because Krishna, you cast for a question or a scope for the moment when you sit to analyze the question. You cast a horoscope for the moment and give an answer to the question, which comes true. So, even it means that even the ideas that come into your mind is controlled by planets, right? Because you will have a thought in your mind that will be indicated by planets. You will ask that question to the astrologer and the astrologer is going to make the prashna and give you an answer. Indicating that everything is signified by planets, everything is controlled by planets. Numerous such things are there in astrology, which signifies over time that everything in the world is controlled by planets only. That is the particular reason I believe that, at, that astrology is called Prataksha Sastram, Jyotasam Prataksham Sastram. Right? That Protection means something which is visible from the eyes. Suri Chandra Sakshino is the next, next line. So Jyotis is Pratyaksha Sastram. Jyotis is real science because sun and moon are a testimony to it. And also because whatever is predicted based on Vedic, astro based on Vedic astrology can be seen throughout the eyes. If marriage is predicted, marriage will happen. Everyone can see it. If rain is predicted, rain will happen. Everyone will see it. Eclipse will be predicted. Right. Eclipse will happen. Everyone will see it. So because the result of the astrology can be seen by each and everyone, it is considered as a very superior science. For example, if someone takes resorts to medication and they, re they recover from the disease, you cannot say that out of all of these medications, which actually worked confidently, but astrology can do. This is the logic. This is what is being told in this particular shloka. Right. Now coming to Prashna, Prashna is a very miraculous science, but what I have found that people are not very well known about, you know, how things happen or what is there in astrology, how astrology works, the nuances of astrology, people are not much introduced to it, right? In this particular regard, today I will want to talk about Prashna. As per my... Understanding of history and development of astrology. See, the first purpose, astrology is called the eyes of the Vedas. So, it is called for this particular purpose that to do the fire sacrifices recommended in the Vedas, uh, finding the proper mahurta was needed, a calendar was needed. And there where astrology starts. The Vedic calendar, the Panchang, having this Tithi, Var, Nakshatri, Yoga, Karana which are now astrological components also, that the development starts there from. First of all, to finding that when the fire sacrifice should be done through the calendar. Later on comes the concept that when it will be auspicious to do, comes the concept of Muhurt. After that comes the, comes Prashna. Why Prashna? Because Prashna can also be done without the ascendant. Whereas natal horoscopy cannot be done without ascendant. Going to the reason because Hora, this predictive astrology, natal horoscopy comes under the topic of Hora. And Hora is also a synonym for ascendant. So there is no personal horoscopy without the ascendant, but Prashna is without the ascendant as well. So Prashna is developed later on. People used to come ask questions. The answer was given according to astrology. After that, Rashis developed, right? Rishis invented Rashis and after that they invented houses along with that they invented Ascendant and then this thing came into play. Nakshatras were invented earlier, right when the Panchang was invented for the Vaidik sacrifice purpose. Now in this history that I have just told you, you should have noticed something, right? There is a method of Prashna which is done without ascendant as well. And this method of Prashna, now this is an old method, right? In this chronology, you should have understood that this is an old method, but it is very effective, very powerful, very brilliant, very excellent. Now this astrology without Prashna, sorry, uh, Prashna without ascendant is done with two purposes. Based from Arud, one thing, it is done through Arud. 
Deciding this RO is done through multiple methods. You have understood this. Let's approach the subject some, with some other way. One ascendant. So there are 24 hours in a day. 12 Rashis are in the zodiac. Right. So at the time of sunrise, the Rashi where the sun is situated in and the degree where the sun is placed in, that is rising in the ascendant. And next day at sunrise, the same Rashi and the next degree will be there in the ascendant. So in one day of 24 hours, 12 ascendants will rise. Roughly each ascendant will rise for two hours. Now you are an astrologer. You are sitting here to answer a Prashna, to answer Prashna for people. Now in two hours, when the ascendant is the same, many people will come to you to ask questions. Now, how will you answer them? Or one person will have multiple questions. How will you answer them? Will you answer using the same horoscope? Will you answer same answer to all the people who come to you? Of course, this you cannot do. You can go by this way that one will ask question related to marriage there. I will analyze 7,000. Another will analyze another person will ask question related to 10,000 there. Related to profession there, I will analyze 10,000. That is a good approach. But in two hours, two, three people can come asking questions related to 7,000. Then what you will do? You can say that, sir, then we will use divisional charts, but that's not the approach. It's not like you see for the first questionnaire, you see D1 chart and for the second questionnaire, you see D9 chart. That's not the way it works. Right? D1 chart, D9 chart and all divisional charts, you will have to see every nine. You will answer a Prashna or read a horoscope. So this approach cannot be taken. So here, this Arud system, ancient, comes to your rescue. So what happens in Arud system that you take this Arud to be the ascendant and answer Prashna accordingly. In Kerala method, there are two zodiacs. One zodiac is in the sky and one zodiac is in the earth. The zodiac of the earth is Arud itself. So finding Arud, there are multiple methods. For example, sometimes astrologer will make a zodiac Rashi Chakram on the ground and he will ask a virgin young child to put a gold coin in one of the boxes, South Indian style horoscope. In one of the boxes, they will tell to put the lady who is immature. The child should be mature. That's the basic point. They should not know which Rashi is good, which Rashi is bad. They will put the coin in a box and then that will be taken as ascendant and answer will be given. This is standard method. Apart from that, asking people number between 1 to 108 or any number, right? Minimum 12 number for 12 Rashis or 108 number for the Navamshas, right? 108 numbers will indicate one Rashi and one Navamsha. So there, are, there are 12 Rashis, 9 Navamshas each. So 108 is the total number. Right, so numbers between 1 to 12, 1 to 108, etc. Such numbers are also asked. And based on the number chosen by the quarant, an Arud can be found out, answer should be given. And accordingly, there are many such methods. But the most important, the most prominent, and the most Vedic, authoritative, authentic method for finding the Arud is based on the Varnaswar Chakram. Varnasar Chakram or the letter uttered by the Aquarius. Right. So questioner will ask you the question. Right. And the speciality with this system is that you can use it for multiple Prashnas. In other type of Arudas, the case is that if two people come to ask you the Prashna, you can tell them to choose, you know, two different Arud that you can say them, then they will ask multiple questions about themselves. Some first about marriage, then about profession. So you will analyze 7,000, 10,000 in this approach. You can go right. But in this Akshar Prashna method, every time a new question is asked, you are taking the first letter of the question that is asked and you are finding the ascendant based on that. So one can ask multiple questions related to the same thing. For example, if one is asked, if in a normal method, you have chosen the Lagna, one is asking question related to marriage. You gave an answer related to marriage. Then they are asking question related to the marriage of their child, suppose. Now in this particular scenario, people believe that if the question is regarding the marriage of the child, you have to see 7,000 from the fifth house. It does not work. 
any question related to marriage will be there you have to answer it from the seventh house only and this is what works in practice this is what is the recommendation from my side so in this case he is asking question about his marriage and his child's marriage you will be confused regarding the seventh house because it will become the same in the earlier methods but in this varnaswar method what is happening that his question will change the first letter of the word of the sentence he have told will change a new ascendant will come and the seventh house can be easily and quickly analyzed right so this method gains superiority on this regard apart from that this akshar prashna method is very old very ancient and is supported by many sages right so being ancient most it also gains superiority and experience wise also it works very greatly so what is the method see the method is simple the person will come to you the person will ask you a question and the first letter of the sentence in which the question is there based on the first letter the answer of the prashna is given right now this is done there are two three things into it that we have to understand right now let's understand something in our in the normal method of making prashna and analyzing it the recommendation is that you will make the prashna chart for the moment when you sit to analyze not for the moment when the native have asked you the question because in today's world you know someone will come to you and directly ask the prashna you know coming is not very easy there will be jam you will meet the person will not be able to meet the person multiple things are there right so there comes discrepancy when the thought came in the mind of person he cannot ask you right then right he will contemplate over it for some time then he will contemplate to ask it from you then they will ask it from you they will try to reach you if they call you you cannot pick the call or anything happens so multiple discrepancies are there so i believe and based on other statements and practice and experience as well i believe that the moment when the native asks the question is not of much importance when you sit to analyze the prashna is important so this is my opinion right because over the time i have analyzed multiple prashnas and you know like my approach is to go with the time when i sit to analyze but many a time i have cross checked also that if i have made predictions based on the time when the question, when the question reached me through whatsapp message mail or anything is that time good does that time indicate answer in a better way happening in a better way as compared to the time when i made the prashna the answer is clear no the time when i made the prashna is the time that should be taken but still in this case things are happening at two different times right someone is asking you question at some other point of time you are analyzing it at some other point of time in the akshar prashna method this is not happening right because you are using the letter of the first letter of the sentence that the native have asked right the letter remains the same no matter whenever you sit to analyze and so this method is highly recommended from my side now in this particular case let's understand something someone will call me message me drop me a mail they will say hi sir namaste sir now this hi sir namaste sir should be left out then they will say i want to ask prashna or i want you to cast a prashna for me this also should be left out now the next thing will be that my prashna is will i get a job in this particular case my prashna is will i get a job isme my prashna is ma the letter ma should be taken will my father recover wa should be taken will wa should be taken right so leaving aside greetings and all of that which is not concerned with prashna the sentence in which the prashna is there first letter of that sentence should be taken if someone asks sir will my father be fine he is suffering from health issue so sir will my father be fine now sir is a greeting that he is giving to us so sir should be left out will my father be fine wa of the will should be taken right this is to be understood the method 
method is quite simple. I am going to show you a table. This is in my article named Dashtamangal Rogu Prashna. This article was written on 23rd of April 2020. There is this particular table. In this table, you see Rashi is like someone is asking, will my father be fine? The letter is wa. You go to this particular table, wa you find here. And this is ruled by moon. Chandra. So the Rashi of moon cancer should be taken as ascendant and answer should be given. Right. Accordingly, this table this table should be used to find the ascendant in Prashna. And the Rashi also becomes important as ascendant. For sun and moon, this our table is ruled by sun. So all of these letters go into Leo. The last table of Yavar goes to moon. All of the letters go into cancer. For others, I have written behind the letter. Ga go into Mesh, Ga go into Scorpio, Ga go into Aries again, Ga goes into Scorpio, Da goes into Aries, so on and so forth. Right. So this is the first thing that is to be understood. Based on this, the analysis of the horoscope should be done. That's one thing. But this Akshar method, this Akshar method in itself is so brilliant. So amazing, it is a system in itself. It is a system altogether in itself that can be used benefittingly to answer the prashna without looking at horoscope also. Right. For that, I will have to introduce you some other tip. Right. And it is used for a specific type of prashna only. That also I will explain. Here you see a table. This table is from my Panchpakshi Shastram course, which I have recently taught. There I have also taught Panchpakshi Prashna, how to answer Prashna from Panchpakshi. This is one of the slides from, I think, 180, 200 pages of slides that I have made for it. Now you will have to understand one thing into it. The letter A, K, Ch, D, Dh, Bh, V, these letters are Bal or Child. These letters are Kumar. These letters are young, these letter is Vridh, this letter is dead. Right. Now in this, this first letter A, E, U, A, O is Varn, sorry Swar. Remaining is Venjan, which is called Varn as well. Right. Now in this, any letter which have a A bearing is a Baal letter. Any word which have an E bearing is a Kumar word. Any letter having an U bearing is a Yuva or young letter. Any letter having A bearing is a Vridh or old letter. Any letter having O bearing is a Mrityu or dead letter. So one thing you have to understand that from this table, you are getting, someone is asking, will my father be fine? So will Va is coming. That goes into moon table. But if you see the word, it is will. V, E. The letter E. So E, if you see in this particular table, any letter that is having E value is Kumar or boy. Right. In this condition, you have to understand young is the best. Kumar is the second best. Right. Bal is the third best. Vridh is the fourth best and Mrit or dead is worst, fifth. Right. So, first of all, it is a Kumar bird that is coming. It is young. So, this is a second best condition. So, will my father be okay? Because it is will, were, e. It is positive. The question itself is positive. But you will have to give focus to the analysis of Prashna with respect to Cancer Rashi as well. This you cannot ignore. Right. So this is to be understood. Now, 
one more thing is that like if you go to the letter wa from the first table you understand that wa is coming into cancer but here if you see the wa is coming into which table the wa is coming into vulture the wa is becoming child child is the third most powerful right so if it was first most powerful if it was young it should indicate quick good results in the second and third cases good results are there but delayed second delayed third very delayed in fourth and fifth the answer is negative in fifth only 10 25% good thing and in sorry in fourth only 10 25% good thing good result and in fifth 0% good result so the letter asked is wa that falls into the rashi cancer you will analyze the prashna from the from cancer taking cancer as ascendant you will analyze cancer sixth house from cancer and you will answer the prashna that is point number 1 now because wa is wa because the letter is will v it comes into the kumar category which is second good category it does indicate that good result will happen the letter is wa which comes into bal category now keeping this in mind that the swar is coming into kumar and varn is coming into bal which is respectively second and third good positions if the answer is recovery the person will recover after some time if the answer is death then also the person will die after some time will happen after some time right young is instantly old and dead is taking much time so if the answer is death one will die taking much time there will be a lot of suffering if the answer is that the person will recover he will recover but it will take much time to recover right the native will take much time to recover so what this does first of all this varna swar prashna gives you the ascendant which gives you the power to solve multiple prashnas in one sitting because otherwise if you just analyze prashna based on the ascendant then remember the ascendant changes in 2 hours altogether so you can answer multiple prashnas and traditionally speaking analyzing a prashna chart without considering arud is like a blind person touching different body parts of an elephant and trying to figure out what it is you must have heard the story so no prashna should be answered without arud arud can be found using multiple methods in multiple methods you can you astrologer can choose any method of finding arud as per their convenience as per their favor uh, favorism to the technique but the speciality with this technique is that first of all this is highly eulogized this is a system altogether in itself right this system is such a great system that first of all i don't think many people know about this particular system it is super system right very brilliant very excellent extensively practiced and supported by many sages in the past and the speciality with this system is that as i have explained in today's video timing of the event or the fructification of the result of prashna which is otherwise a very difficult task becomes a breeze if you do prashna this way right this is what i wanted to present now one more thing you should take a note of in this particular case with this technique that there are many methods of analyzing a prashna and a horoscope that we don't know right so our constant endeavor should be to increase our knowledge and understanding because knowledge is an never ending journey thank you